songs and felicitations. Okay, the first round. Boom. <laughs> and oh, geez, that was just boom. unnecessary. You kidding me? You can't be out of range. Greetings and felicitations, YouTube. Yarl of the Appian Way. We're playing Legendary Campaign, and the faction that you've chosen, by consensus, Hippolyta. Here we go. Let's just uh, dive right on into this and see if I can't, you know, show off this game's perks. It, it has me at war already with Maonians of Tomolos, and they have... They have a walled settlement right next to me that I need. I don't even have a walled settlement. Oh, that's frustrating. Okay, so for those of you who don't know, the Amazons have an entirely different recruitment system. I cannot just like recruit troops based on what buildings I have. What I can recruit are, are like basic level stuff. I can recruit them at any time. I can take Amazon Swordswomen, Amazon Chargers, um, Initiates, Stone Slingers, or Amazon Archers. And as these units gain experience in battle, I can upgrade them. Like we'll take the uh, let's take let's take the Amazon Swordswoman for example. I can upgrade the Swordswoman into one of two things: either an Andromachoi or Corinites. Uh, and then once the Andromachoi has reached a certain point, I can upgrade that to an Aristobacoi. Um, let's say I wanted to work on getting a bunch of Amazon champions, heavy chariots. Well, I have two ways to get there. I can either go by building initiates. And then upgrading them to oath sworn then champions, or I could go Amazon Chargers, turn them into horsewomen, and then turn those into Amazon champions. Well, this place is gonna have seven garrison units here that I won't know what they look like, and I have seven units in this army, so I don't have enough to take that, but I do have enough to come up here and beat this guy up. So that's the first thing we're gonna do. I'm gonna beat up this army. That's an auto resolve. Kick, slash, slash, beheaded, gut, and done. Yep. 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 And wow, my horsemen took the brunt of the casualties. They don't like that. We'll go ahead and take on the casualties. More experience. Boom, boom, boom. And hey, look at that. More food, more bronze. And now I must muster troops. Well, I will do so after returning to Anthea for a little bit of extra replenishment. What's this? What's this? Sacred site. Small amount of Amazon treasures each turn. Well, I want that sacred site, all right. We're going to go ahead and doing, do our recruiting. Now, based off of that chart, I think the way I'm going to want to go is uh, Amazon Chargers. Um, because I love Black Spears. I, I like Antonay Ray. I like Horsewomen. And I like Amazon Champions. But I also like Swordswomen, Andromachoi, and Aristobacoi. That's going to be my focus. It's going to be between Amazon Chargers and Amazon Swordswomen. Let's look at the buildings that I'm going to need. And they is not the place to build those buildings. Right? Like just in general this might be interesting she doesn't have anything okay Paris she and bravery in one what man can resist that oh god you're so sleazy just give me all of your stone and as much wood as you're willing to give me god I hate Paris yeah that'll do and Apollo has got to do some recruiting I'm gonna go two more of those, one more of these. That'll get me started. What else do I need to do? I have a royal decree. That's right. That's right. Uh, get me that food. Yes, please. Now I am playing this game with a few mods. I'm I've taken on the one mod that reduces the supply lines penalty by fifty percent. I'm playing with the respec um, skills mod for characters. Uh, what what other mods did I just pick up? Oh, um, I've turned on the ability to have 30 turn barters. I think that's it. I, 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 don't, I don't tend to like using too many mods, but I figured I would use those because I felt the audience would appreciate them in general. Okay, so we got our recruiting done. We can actually upgrade that with 70 stone. Let's go look for more stone. Oh, let's hear it. Uh, Amazon. Nope, Hippolyta. I'm sorry, but this lady has not picked up any additional stone. How about. Priam, he's got 40, I need 70. Uh, Ephesus might trade for stone. We've got plenty to discuss. Let's do... Let's do one turn deal, because I don't know that I'm going to be friends with him for a while. Okay, so he wants bronze, and I'm actually producing bronze at 
a decent pace right now. Wow, okay, so 65. So I don't mind spending more than 70 for it. But let's see here, 65, 75, okay. 71, 70, 69, nice. Oh, but he'll go cheaper. Okay, 67, that works for me. Done deal, all right. So for 67 bronze and 780 wood, I could produce the green pit. Thank you. And we're going to go ahead and do another turn of recruiting here. I'll go ahead and grab another initiate just so I don't have one initiate by herself. Um, and then two more Amazon Swordswomen, for sure. Muster the troops is done. 300 food, 100 bonds. Thank you. Laying foundations, construct any building. That should be done already. Um, well, I might actually not get that. No, I'll get it in two turns. Yeah, we're still good. Hopefully it doesn't mean from, from the very get-go, but we'll see. Now then, they yet... They still don't have anything here. I'm, uh... I might just produce more and more and more chumps to help me take this place. I'm gonna slap in some stone slingers here just so I have the extra bodies. Um, in a couple of turns, I'm gonna be able to take over this place if they don't build an army here. Okay, there's the building objective done. Boom. Thriving settlement. Upgrade the main building of any settlement. That's gonna take me a bit. Queen of the this place is still only seven defenders and two buildings. I really think I should just go now. I'm gonna go for it. I'm absolutely gonna go for this. Yeah, there's nobody defending it. I really should just go. This is definitely the best call to make. Um, what do we have? Anatolian Sword, Coastal Club Fighters, Dardanians! Shieldless Spears, yeah, Anatolian Slingers, this is a Dardanian roster. Okay, and they've got a Fighter Ravager Hero with no abilities. I'm, uh, yeah, I'm just gonna blitz this. Here we go. I really don't like um, walled siege battles <laughs> in, uh, in Legendary Difficulty. They can be very tough for you. But I might be able to pull off some magic here. I don't have any um, stock units. God, stock units are the best for, for sieges. They really, really are. We're going to... Uh, actually, we're going to see if we can't get fog. Fog would be preferable. Rain would not. Yeah, we're getting rain. I really should have just gone in the first turn. Okay. So let, we're just going to examine the various towers here and see if I can't find our best approach. Alright, if I approach this section coming at it from this direction, right, like here, I'm at least only going to get shot at by these tower these, and this gate. Uh, that's going to be my angle of approach, I think. Just trying not to get myself killed. And once I get inside, um, this section is actually pretty easy to defend. For, for me, like, once I get my forces in, because basically, I only have to worry about two avenues all the way out to here, and then eventually three. And I can push all the way to the city center this way. Okay, well, here we go. Let's, uh, let's get this show on the road. ladies up here and start shooting. I'm gonna go ahead and throw away the initiates on the walls here. Just don't like the initiates. They can be the, the melee body bags. Alright, all of my range units are attacking. I'd rather they be attacking the guys on the walls, but hey. That's alright. One of many reasons why you just shouldn't enjoy attacking walls. Look at all my ammo just go right over their heads. I am managing a couple kills, but it's slow, frustrating work. Time to get the rest of the troops up here. I'm going to put the um, Amazon Chargers in spreading charge. Because this will at least spread out their, um, their bodies so they won't all get shot up all at once. 
Okay, we got the light skirmishers to retreat. We've been dealing damage to the Anatolian swords, and I've got my initiates up on the wall now. The initiates are crap units. Their morale is already about to break. They've barely been involved in the combat. Why is their morale already falling? Discouraged by ability? Oh, okay. And, of course, the difficulty not fire. I'm trying to use my uh, my range units ammo a little uh, ammo a little bit smarter by using it to shoot over top of the battle and into the um, the shieldless spears. It's at least one less um, unit with shields to to block my shots. The axe chargers are also a threat, but I'm also getting more troops onto the walls here. As you can see, I'm taking pretty hefty casualties on my skirmish corps. I really don't want them climbing the walls. It looks like they want to climb. Don't need them to do that. I just want them to shoot this group. But since they won't, how about you shoot this one? You have captured the enemy tower. That's good news. Okay, we're eventually grinding out the kills we need. Let's go ahead and take this tower, please. Now we're talking. You have lost a unit. Well, there goes my Andromacoi. Why are my soldiers going back up onto the walls? I'm confused. I ordered them down here. I'm going to be very upset if these axe chargers actually get back into their town. Okay, they're turning around to face my, face my horsewoman. That works for me. Are those shieldless spears coming out of you? Thank you, horsewomen. Thank you. Thank you very much. Now, please do not die to the towers. Just go ahead and get these guys out of here, please. Come on. Come on, Axe Chargers. You're done. No one to quit. 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 This is why I can't stand Legendary so, so often. Especially in Warhammer. Like, these guys are done. And they've only just now shattered. Why are... Why were my Amazon Chargers having such a hard time just forming up down here? I'm finally taking the, the stupid gates. Oh my god, don't just... Don't just route outside and stand in front of the towers. Don't just route outside and then stand in front of the towers. Oh my lord. Okay. Shieldless spears are the things that need to die the most. Let's just go ahead and get everybody inside now that I've finally taken this section of the town. Oh my god, I took nine casualties just getting from, like, beating them to moving over there. Oh my lord. I think that guy's gonna catch my Amazon Swordswoman. So I'm actually just gonna go ahead and order them and on attack, get over here. Because these guys could regroup, which would just be frustrating. Shieldless spears are still the problem. Turn around and fight them. You're not going to escape them. Now, in multiplayer, I love this. I love taking cheap swords and using them to attack heroes with. Um, but this is an anti-infantry hero. He's going to easily clean this up. And he won't take much damage for it because legendary difficulty, I guess. Turn on that spread and charge. Get that charge bonus. Boom, right in the rear. Here we go. Cavalry rear charge. Now it's not going to be enough, and my own troops are going to retreat instead of theirs, but hey. We got them. I'm going to need Hippolyta to kill off the, uh, the enemy hero, essentially. I could use her in melee in the time being, at least. Okay, yeah, we got those spears done. That's good. They're just broken, though. Oh, good, he has his back turned. Yeah, I think he figured it out. <laughs> Apollo, you don't need to run forward. You just need to shoot him. That's all.
Time to run, Avalida. Time to run. Indeed I will. Time to run, Hippolyta. No problem. Oh my lord. You will soon hold the enemy's victory point. Yeah, we might need it. <laughs> okay, there goes my horsewomen now. Gonna need her air to stay here. This guy might actually route my whole army by himself. Yeah, no, don't, don't you, don't you, don't you. You're just killing your own troops. This is kind of pathetic in in a lot of ways. He's just gonna rout my whole army. Oh my god, I might actually lose. <sighs> I just hit army losses. As soon as her air stay is done, she's gonna break, even though she could probably beat this guy in melee. Dang it, are you kidding me? I hate siege battles. How does that army lose to that? I mean, yeah, I, I could have been more efficient. I didn't have to stand in front of the, the stupid towers getting shot at into oblivion. And I probably could have assaulted more than one direction, but I can feel you all typing and just saying, like, just reload, just reload. Um, that's not my style. I know it's turn four or whatever but like when i make the mistakes i pay the consequences this was a good defense on his part i played into it i deserve to have been beat here i don't deserve to have lost my horsewomen and my uh andromacoi i feel and uh, the andromacoi at least they were killed to to the last woman i suppose and i guess i did lose them the horsewomen, though, I still had like five or six left in that unit. I am frustrated I lost that battle. I probably should just, at the very end, I probably just should have let Hippolyta fight him anyway, because she had the health, I guess. I mean, she's not a melee hero, and he is, and he activated his Aristea at just like perfect timing. But like, how come he didn't route from army losses, you know? I mean, I'm just frustrated because I had the army to do it. I did, and I threw it away. Uh, and now I'm going to be behind, like, 10 or 15 turns. And, okay, so, like, this is the YouTuber conundrum, all right? This is the Total War YouTuber conundrum. I've never heard any other YouTuber talk about this, but it deserves to be said, okay? Here it is. You have two options in this scenario. You either reload and do it over again, or you dig yourself out of the hole. What makes for the better content? That's what we always have to keep in the back of our head, right? I much rather vastly prefer the comeback stories and the like, I can't believe I suffered that huge defeat. Oh, wasn't that frustrating? And then turning that around and then like getting a huge triumph and kicking the enemy's butt. That'd be cool if it was like Sparta I was fighting. Or Menelaus. You know, or um, Agamemnon. Or Achilles. Or, you know, fighting against Athens. Not like the first freaking city that I see. But then the other side of that conundrum is that you just reload. To me, that's scummy. That's, that's, that's what they call it. They call it save scumming. And I'm not saying that, like, people who choose to do that are, are scummy. That's... No. Everybody plays their own way. Oh, and I don't... Thanks, Hippolyta! <sighs> anyway. Um, it doesn't mean that, like, people who do it are scummy. Because that's not the case. I just don't think it makes for the best gameplay. 
I'm frustrated I lost that battle. Um, and I immediately am already thinking of like 20 different ways I could have done that battle better. <laughs> Still though, it's turn four. I could just redo all of this and not even put this video out. <laughs> but that's not who I am. <laughs> I'm agonizing over this still because it's still only just the first, the first few turns. I don't know that it's worth actually trying to dig myself out of the hole. I mean, how much of a hole am I in? I lost 10 units in the battle, including all of those. Those the, <laughs> These are literally the units I've recruited. I took Hippolyta's opening army, deleted every unit that she had, and only put in the units that I bought, less the, the stupid stone slingers. Now, when this is like, going back to that YouTuber's total war conundrum, if this was like, you know, turn 50, and I was fighting uh, against Achilles, and I lost that battle, um, I prefer to go the route of like, well, you took the loss, you're just going to have to to recover from that. But here's the thing, sometimes that recovery is 20 end turns you know of just like trying to build your forces back up because that's how total war works sometimes sometimes you just have to spend a really long time trying to recover from from your mistakes and frankly that's not fun to watch i mean the end result is fun to watch like the whole comeback and the like oh hey you beat achilles but the problem is, is that you had to spend 15 turns of recruiting and, and you know, settlement management to get there. And pe that, let's be honest, that's not good viewing. That's not good content. But on the other hand, it has more rewarding results. And also, it's more fun to watch people like me suffer sometimes. <laughs> like in battles, sometimes it's a lot more enjoyable just to hear us get a little bit salty and a little bit mad because we didn't get the results we wanted. On the other side, you could just save scum, do that fight over, but then, like, you don't see the swings that come in and out. Nobody likes having to, to do the recovery process, but I feel like the payoff is worth it. I don't know. I, I'm saying the same thing a million times over. I don't know if anybody's ever, like, stated that conundrum in, in a manner that makes sense uh, before, but I'd be interested to know if you all have thought of that before or if you've put time and effort into a campaign that... Um, that you could have just easily have restarted. But like, hey, they, th those are the choices I made. That's the that's the problem I fall into. All I can do now is end the turn and just try to do better next. Oh. Oh. Oh, okay. Now I'm mad. Now I'm actually mad. He could have ended my campaign right there and he didn't. Why? There was no reason that he should that he should have just walked right past my army. There was no reason for that. He had every opportunity to eliminate me. And he didn't take it. Now, that to me feels like the campaign just messing with me. You know? Like, like CA decided, I think it'll be more fun if we just hand them a give me. Here's a gimme. You lost that battle. It's okay. No. No, the proper play there is for the... Who is this? The um, the proper play there is for the Maonians of Tomolos to freaking kill me. They didn't take that chance. And now I'm ticked. Now I'm real ticked. Five. Now I have... I do have a decent garrison now, I suppose. I do have a 14-unit garrison. So, here's a new plan. Mistress of the Bow. This is going to cost me another turn, but ambush positions. I'm going to ambush him. I'm going to see if I can't convince him to attack my last settlement. It worked. Wow. No, it didn't. It did not work, actually. So I'm going to decline that attack. All I did was lose a turn there. Uh, I can try again, though. I want to get him into an ambush where my settlement will actually protect me. Wait a minute. Wait a minute, no. I thought that might have just been Pentesilea, but um, Hippolyta's Amazons might not be able to ally, uh, uh, to, to reinforce each other. 
Oh, that's the other mod I picked. It's the the temples uh, tab. Um, I thought it was just Penthesilea they couldn't reinforce each other, but can Hippolyta's forces also not reinforce each other? Ooh, ooh, okay. They can't. I hate that. As you wish. Okay, well, we're going back inside Anthea now. The only thing I'm focusing on is building up the stupid army. It's just... It's just turn in, turn in, turn in, turn in. You know, like... Make up your mind! Oh my god. And while I'm doing this... Like, everybody else is just growing in power. I really just should have restarted this stupid campaign. And not even shown you all. I don't know why I'm still going. Maintain control of... Okay, that's good to know. Because <laughs> I, uh, I was thinking about making friends with these guys. But apparently I want their home. Oh, I forgot to do Royal Decree. I'm snowballing here. Like, I made one mistake and now I'm allowing myself to make a million mistakes. Hell no. Come fight me. Come fight me. Come fight me! He's just got a bunch of axe warriors in that army, really. But I know where it is. Okay. Here we go. Because he went the other way. Ooh, he has a second army now! Dang it! Never mind. Never mind. I'm going back. Do over. All right, Royal Decree, Royal Decree, Royal Decree. Let's do more growth, please. It'll matter once I have Aenthia. Hopefully they haven't built it up into a, um, a, a, a level two yet. Uh, Ephesus, no, we cannot be friends. Okay. Don't care anymore, I'm going for it. Here we go. And he didn't increase his army, and this place has nine garrison units. So there's 14 units defending this place. I've got a bunch, and I do mean a bunch of Bring of chump ladies. If I stay here, I'm gonna get rear attacked by the, uh, the other army, so I need to win this. Okay, so he's now got two shieldless spears, two slinger, oh man, two heroes. Okay. Alright. This is what I'm gonna do. I'm gonna do this battle. When I lose this, because I think that balance of power is being way too kind to me considering the units that they have versus the units that I have. When I lose this, you guys tell me, should I truck on? Would you be more interested in seeing me try to dig this campaign out of the hole that I started it in? Or do I just start over? I'm gonna let you all decide. Don't don't pick what you think I want because that's not that's not what I want. I want what you guys will actually view. That's what I want to know. That's the YouTuber's conundrum. What are you most likely going to want to watch? Okay? When I lose this battle because I'm about to lose this battle. Because if I were to click auto resolve, see there it is. Valiant defeat. I think the battle is going to be worse than a Valiant Defeat. I think the battle is actually going to be pretty crushing. I'm going to try going wider. I'm going to assault from different directions. Whatever. Do you want to see me try to dig this campaign out of the hole that I'm about to put it in? Or would you just rather see me start over from the beginning? And don't... Don't tell me that he should have just gone for the other province first. I know that at this point. I'm just being stubborn. Okay, here we go. <laughs> um, Hippolyta is not that hard of a campaign start. In my honest-to-God opinion, I don't think it's that hard of a start. It's cruddy that she only gets a, a three-building settlement to begin with instead of a city. Um, but, like, even though I lost that battle, I think I've efficiently proven that Hippolyta can easily take that city after you know, a couple of turns and smart play. I just I just have not been smart with this. And I'm gonna hope for fog. We're gonna hope for fog. No, I want fog. Don't give me three days of rain again. Come on, give me fog. Oh my god. Same scenario. That's okay though. That's okay though. Okay. 
Uh, the plan I built this time is I have, uh, you know, a couple of forces over here to threaten that section, a couple of forces over here to threaten this section, a good portion right here to, to really threaten this section, and then I have group four out here. Come on, go over here. Group four out here completely hidden, and I'm hoping that they're just not going to put anybody to defend here, and then I'll just have group four launch themselves over the walls over here, take, a, take it over, open the gates, let me in. That's my plan. Okay, both heroes are out here. They have a force over there. They have a force over here. And it looks like there's nobody over here. So first thing I'm going to do, order assaults at this section. I should not let my swordswomen just get themselves suicided onto that. This is actually a pretty weak showing, and I'm not going to suicide those swordswomen into that section. Let's go ahead and put these ladies in spread and charge. Dardanian spearmen, light skirmishers, shieldless spears, okay. Okay, okay. This is looking pretty promising, actually. Only taking a few casualties trying to get here. I'm not going to go after these sections of walls until they show me that they're willing to surrender, surrender them to my forces. I'm going to go ahead and attack Amazon Chargers into the Shieldless Spear here, and uh, these Amazon Chargers into this Light Skirmisher. Let's take this tower, please. Take the gatehouse. Okay, I like how the threat of some of my swordswomen has absolutely paralyzed portions of their army. It's uh, pretty good for me, actually. Main section of wall, we're making progress still. I've got some of my swordswomen over the walls now. Okay, they've abandoned this section of walls, so I'm going to go ahead and take it. Okay, we're getting in here with much better numbers than before. Some shieldless spears are coming at me, but I'm going to go ahead and use this group right here. Slingers, to start shooting at it. Okay, I've taken some casualties over here just in the process of taking the walls, but we're doing okay. There is one axe charger out here, and the three Amazon Swordswomen can fight that if I maneuver it right. It's like these uh, Amazon Swordswomen came back from routing. It's kind of caught. Ooh, Slingers, get back here, get back here. And look at Hippolyta absolutely obliterate Radamanthus here. This is good news. Yeah, overlap with the Spearman, please. Do that. Do that thing. Come on, Hippolyta. Give me one more arrow. One more arrow. Come on. Come on. No angle. Not going to take the shot, huh? Not going to take the shot. Meanwhile, the rest of my army out here is completely broken. Yeah, Hippolyta lost that shot. But she could shoot these Spearmen for me. That'd be good. Okay, so I'm going to win. I might have been premature when I was saying that I was going to lose, but I think now I can safely say that I'm going to win. Uh-oh. Uh-oh. They might shatter here. Yeah, they did. Shucks. Oh, okay. I've got some Hippolyta problems. <laughs> Pretty much like I thought, I was going to be able to get these Axe Chargers in a bad position. They have no stamina, so their health, sh their stats should be way down. I've got them outflanked. This is good. I've got a shieldless spear out here trying to deal with me. That's broken unit. Okay, I'm gonna move up these swordswomen here. I'd like to kill this man, please. He just keeps running away from where I want him to be. And there we go. They're broken. I'll just let these three ladies just kill off that unit. It'll be shattered. You two attack that Spearman. You attack that Skirmisher. You two go out this way. You guys come down here. Can you guys kill Radamanthus? Somebody needs to kill Radamanthus. He's absurd. Get down here. I'm gonna attack that Axe Charger. I'm gonna attack those Slingers. Somebody kill Radamanthus. <laughs> Ooh, they got a unit behind me. Okay, that's fine. I got, um, 
Broke that unit. I can get this Amazon Swordsman to turn around. I can't believe this man's still alive. Alright, that's fine. That's fine. Ramanthus <laughs> is still running from me. Absurd! Absurd! Okay, so I apologize for the uh, buckets of salt I threw at everybody earlier. I'm feeling better now. <laughs> oh, man. Watch army losses kick in right now, just as I'm starting to feel confident. Oh my god. Please kill Radamanthus. He's not even the hero that most needs to die. He's just so close to death. Come on, ladies. Has claimed the there he is. That's right. Now you can celebrate. All these wet wild women over here. <laughs> uh, oh, okay. We lost the, this group. Okay, one of these is not a stone slinger. Yeah, that's right. I want the chargers. Let's just keep them off the victory point. Oh, hey, all three of these units came back, actually. That shattered. Looks like they're losing their morale right now. I don't want to see to the victory point. Victory is close enough to taste. Go, ladies, go. Spread and charge. There it is! The moment! I can now end this victory with the... I can now end this campaign with a victory! Yay! <laughs> oh my god. You see, that's just... That's how not to do the opening battle and how a better way to actually approach it. There it is. Oh my god, I can't believe I lost, like, the entire army. I lost the Andromachoi, the Horsewomen, right off the get-go. Those are going to be important units I'm going to be missing later, but... Now I can't start this over. <laughs> now I'm... Now I can't start this over. <laughs> oh, man. So we're going to occupy it. Okay, I'm just... I'm just ten turns behind. That's all. That's all. I'm just ten turns behind. I've got an altar of Zeus now. I can now, you know, do a commandment, recruit a priestess, and get a whole bunch of objectives done here. Here we go. All right. Well, I'm gonna be re re. Uh, I'm gonna be converting this um, Zeus altar to anybody else. You guys tell me who you think I should go for. Um, I my instinct says Aphrodite, but I don't have to. You know, could just be whoever. Um, what kind of garrison do I have here? I have eight unit garrison. I'm gonna keep this army here for the time being. Whoever you want me to to reconstruct that temple for, that that's how I'm gonna do it. Anyway, that's enough of that nonsense. Oh my god, way to start off a campaign, Happiness. You'd think I was doing my how not to play a, a legendary campaign in Warhammer. Tata, -ta, I love you all. See you guys in the next video.